Does what? Is this a new stove? Is there yeah, problems going on? Stove. I wish I had a fire stove, fire stove, gas stove. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a fire stove. <laughs> All right, guys, we got something delicious for you guys today. We got a nice roasted spaghetti squash. We're gonna saute some mushrooms and some herbs and shallots. We're gonna toss in some arugula, finish it off with a nice brown butter sauce. Very delicious. All right, today's ingredients will be, we have spaghetti squash, we have brown butter, we have buttered mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, shiitake mushroom, some sage, some thyme, some shallots, and some arugula. This will be ingredients for today. Now let's get started, right? First up, we're gonna put our spaghetti squash in the oven. We're gonna take some brown butter, you see that? We're gonna put it inside right here. We're gonna take a little bit of the sage. I'm gonna just tear that up, add it in here. So what's gonna happen, once it starts cooking, the butter's gonna melt, it's gonna just soak into all the, the squash strands and just give a nice, amazing, nutty flavor. So we're gonna add also some white truffle salt. If you don't have white truffle salt, that's fine. You can just add regular kosher salt. I have this, I bought this on Spiceology, very delicious. All right, and that's about it. That's all we're gonna do to our squash for the moment. Now let's get it put in the oven. So temperature times may vary as far as cooking for the fact that, you know, small ones, big ones, different times. This one will take about 30, 40 minutes, but just check on yours. We'll go from there, right? Let's check on our squash. See if it's ready. Kind of tell. Yeah, just about there. It's gonna overcook. It's gonna continue cooking once you pull it out of itself anyway, and that butter is gonna continue cooking. All right, let me just show you guys a little something. The strands, this is why they call it spaghetti squash, guys. Right there, see that? So we're gonna let it cool down, and once it cools down, we're gonna fork it. All right guys, now that we got our squash down, this is why we call it spaghetti squash. Cause once you start ripping it, start straining, like little strains of spaghetti, look at that. Beautiful. Just wanna get in there, just take all that out, all that richness and goodness out. some of that out, let's get the next one. All right guys, first thing we're gonna take is a little bit of oil. Make sure you pan it nice and hot so when we saute our mushrooms, they don't sweat and we get a nice little sear on them. So it's gonna let the oil heat up a little bit, about 30 seconds, so you see a little bit of smoke coming out or you feel the proper temperature. All right, let's drop our mushrooms. Don't want to move them around, just let them stay in their place so they get a nice sear on them. Alright guys, after we get a nice little sear on our mushrooms, as you can see there, nice little sear. We get a nice sear, we're gonna add our shallots. Add our thyme. Add some salt. And we're gonna add our black pepper in there, alright? Get a nice little All right guys, so next, now that you got your mushrooms all nice, okay, we're gonna add our brown butter. All right, just pour that around in there. Oh, right off the bag, you can smell that. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. 
Let's add our squash back in. Take some of our arugula. We're gonna just tear it up. Tear it up, tear it up. All right, guys, and that's it. There you go. Now it's plating. All right, guys, so we have our squash right here, spaghetti squash with our mushroom, the arugula. If you can smell it, the aroma is intense, beautiful. All right, so let's start plating this baby. So you can see, I should have chose a bigger squash. Strange would have been a lot bigger. FYI, you guys are making this at home. All right, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. One second, here we go. All right guys, messing around. A little bit of Romano on top. That is, sir, or more? No, I bring more. All right, cool. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, we got a food nice and plated already. What time is it? The taste test. Ah, uh, wee wee taste test. All right, so let's get into this. Look at that. Oh man, come here, come and taste this. Taste it, taste it. Mm, 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 mm. That is delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. You taste the sweetness That's from good. the brown butter. You taste the thyme and the shallots from the mushrooms. Everything's blending well. Oh, delicious. And then the pasta or the squashes. From that's how dente, not overcooked at all. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. What do you want, Coco? Taste this? Come here. Coco wants to come in here real quick. Give you a little piece of squash. Oh, is that bomb? Bomb? Yeah? All right, get out of here. All right, guys. Try the recipe. Let me know how you like it. Comment down below. It's very good, very delicious, healthy, very light. You're going to love it. Trust me, all right? Once again, my name is Chef Hoods. This is Casa the Hood. Make sure you follow us on all our social medias. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, what am I forgetting? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Anybody? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. That's it, we only got three social medias? All right, cool, don't even trip. Hit the bell, ding, 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 all right? So, once again, I am Chef Hoods, and we out. Mm -hmm.